All right, check it out. We're looking at the CX-110. This is a very nice, extremely tiny little camera from Sony. Uh, look at it. It's just really small, dare I say cute. Uh, very small camera, but very powerful. It is a full 1080p resolution. It takes three megapixel stills. It has an eight-hour battery, a Carl Zeiss lens, and it has incredible low-light performance. Now, the lens is a Carl Zeiss uh, lens. It's actually a 1.8 maximum aperture value, so very, very uh, wide aperture. It'll shoot really, really well in low light. It's actually got a 25x zoom and a 300x digital zoom. Uh, through frame interpolation, it will give you digital zoom, but that kind of reduces quality. But it will go 25x uh, fully optical, which is really, really good for a camera of this uh, size. Now, beyond that 1.8 aperture, which lets you shoot in very dark conditions, it's got a very uh, nice Exmor R CMOS sensor. Uh, now, what's special about that sensor is it's backlit. That's going to give you more information from the lens. It's going to give you a better picture, and it's definitely going to give you better low light uh, performance. Uh, now, this camera in particular, the CX-110, uh, captures to SD and Pro Duo cards. It will take uh, the Sony Pro Duo or the Pro Duo HG card. It'll actually take just the Duo as well. Uh, so it's really up to you. I think those are available up to 32 gigabytes, which is going to give you eh, about 30 hours uh, of video, which is pretty good. Uh, now, over here uh, on the back, I want to show you that you do have a couple inputs over here. Uh, one is your DC in right there, and then the other one is your AV out. So basically, there is a AV cable that it comes with. It's going to output component, uh, I'm sorry, composite. And then right up here is a charger uh, to charge either the battery or to power it off of the wall in case you do not want to use the included battery. Uh, now we'll move on to uh, the very nice uh, screen that this thing has. It's a 230. Thousand dot screen. It is touch sensitive, uh, so basically, if you want to go into menus and stuff, you can just click there. Uh, it'll work really, really nice. You can also, when you're in the front screen there, uh, you can actually zoom in and stuff. It has different controls depending on what you're doing. Uh, if you want to zoom now, also uh, up here, you do have the regular zoom lever. You can take a photo. You can switch between modes, and you can record all through the external buttons, which are probably going to be used more often than the on-screen display. But just so you know, if you want, you can zoom. Uh, you know, right here. You can zoom back out, and you also can record from the display. So very nice. Now, if you want to access the menu, you can just touch right there and hit menu, and there you are in the menus. Uh, now, I kind of want to show you one of the uh, couple cool features here. First of all, face detection. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It's already on. You're going to see here, I'm going to back the camera up. I'm going to point it at my face, put the screen towards you, and basically, I'm going to tap the screen, and you're going to see that it's going to pick up my face. Any second now. There it goes. See, it's got that little white bar. Uh, it's got my face. And so now that is going to recognize my uh, face. But here's another cool feature. It has smile detection as well. So uh, that mode's not on right now. But basically, I'm going to smile. And the camera's going to know that I just smiled. And it's going to take a picture, even while I'm shooting video, uh, of that uh, smile. So really cool. Also, another cool uh, feature is the software included with the camera not only goes, you know, goes beyond face detection, but it actually gives you uh, face indexing. So basically, you can tag a name to a face, and it's going to automatically search that. So if you're looking for a video that had my face in it, you type in Albert, and it's going to give you the actual list of videos that have my face. So that's a really, uh, really cool feature. Now, uh, also another really cool feature, which I can demonstrate to you right now, uh, is the stabilization. As you can see, my chin is at the bottom of the frame, and my head uh, is up here at the top. Now watch. I'm going to shake the camera. Look how the picture stays perfectly in the middle. It doesn't shake. That's because this has a very, very powerful uh, image stabilizer inside of it. It's a steady shot image stabilizer, but this has got an active mode, which is even better. Basically means you can almost be running with this in your hand, and you're still going to get really smooth video. The optics in the camera are going to go up and down with the motion, and that way uh, the sensor is going to pick up only uh, smooth, clear, sharp video, which is a really, really nice feature. Now, there is one more really, really cool feature, and I can't help but uh, show it to you guys. And I'll show it to you first of all by showing you how to turn it on, how to get to it. Basically, you're going to want to touch your screen, you're going to want to hit menu, and you're going to go to other options, and then you're going to scroll. Now this you can actually just scroll by touching, uh, or if you want, whoops, I got out of the menu, you can kind of hold your finger on it and, you know, do it like that way. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, <coughs> and there it is. <coughs> just missed it, excuse me. Uh, let me scroll down again. Is it up? Producer Dan, did I miss it? Okay, it's up. He says, 
I think you, oh, there it is. All right, see that right there? SMTH, SLW record, smooth, slow motion. Really, really cool feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Uh, mind you, I'm doing this backwards and upside down, so that's why I don't hit the buttons every time. Uh, basically what it is, is it's gonna record at 240 frames per second for up to three seconds. It's gonna buffer uh, for up to three seconds, 240 frames per second. And basically, it's gonna play that back over the period of 12 seconds. So here we go, we're gonna edit this in later, but I'm gonna record uh, this block spinning at 240 frames per second. All right, and you see uh, in the video, look at that slow-mo. How cool uh, is that slow-mo? Very, very cool. Uh, so you can see, I mean, that's probably one of the funnest uh, features on it, and uh, we played with it today in the office a little bit, so we will be showing you uh, at the end of the video during the credits, we're going to have some of that video uh, to show you because it turns just about any boring uh, you know, activity into really cool video footage. So uh, there you have it, the CX-110, uh, a very powerful full 1080i uh, video out of a very small camcorder. The battery lasts for about eight hours, so it's great for vacations. Uh, you don't want to carry a lot, but you do want to record uh, the memories. It has you know, a standard quarter by 20, um, tripod plate at the bottom so you can mount it somewhere. It's really light. It's got a great zoom lens. It works really good in low light, which has kind of been uh, the crutch of most of these small camcorders for a while now. But this one does work in very low light, thanks in part to that Zeiss lens with the 1.8 maximum aperture and that backlit Exmor R CMOS sensor. Uh, so really, really nice camera. And it's also pretty affordable. So if you're in the market, definitely give it a uh, look. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Sony HDR CX110 camcorder, type in S08-3770 into any major search engine.